Okay. Part two of my uh, attempt to simplify the economy for beginners and people who just can't be bothered taking a long time to read all the boring documentation. So, derivatives. Derivatives were originally an idea that is what's what is the term they used? A well, it's a thing you use in the market that says it's pretty much paid off. It's as good as. I here's an example. You're in a restaurant. I say I derive, or I figure, that I'm going to make, well, let's say, fifty grand off it this year. Then you say, well, it's as good as made, and then you loan that derived value. This basically it's counting your chickens before you hatch before they hatch, but basically you take the derived value of the restaurant and you loan it out to something else and that that hasn't even happened yet and that gets loaned out to someone else and that gets loaned out to someone else and so on and so forth. It's counting your chickens before you hatch because you take one thing out of the uh, chain here, one link gets out of the chain, everything else falls apart. The thing is, okay so you say there's a couple of bad assets they get written off all the time True. True. Bad assets do get written off all the time. Problem is, the guys who are running the derivative scam that we're dealing with right now aren't letting go. And I can understand why, and here's why. The derivatives that have been accrued, and this is counting with interest, by the way. They use interest on the whole thing, which makes it all worse. The number of times that the derivative structure has been used as the greatest pyramid selling scam in history, there's now 10 times, and counting, probably closer to 11 now, 10 times more derivatives owed, promised on, than there is goods, services, people as slaves and servicers, servicers, and stuff and money to pay it off. If that's shocked you at any point, Congratulations. You've now woken up to what the rest of us have seen. Anyway, part three will be coming coming next. And uh, boy howdy, it's going to be a fun one. Catch up.